purpose of this video lesson is to familiarize you with the ArcGIS Explorer tool uh, and to use it to perform the task required in the consumer GIS exercise. Let's begin by loading ArcGIS Explorer, which we now have in front of us, and this is the default screen. Uh, and what you should do here to get familiar with the, this interface and with the technology uh, is to practice moving things around and, and, and navigating through the, through the system. Uh, you can move the globe by the, the, the hand icon by dropping and dragging. Uh, you can also zoom by using the wheel of the, uh, of the mouse to move in and out. Uh, you can also use this tool at the left to move north, south, east, and west uh, to increase or decrease the zoom uh, and increase or decrease the tilt of the screen. So those are the ways you can basically move around the interface. What we're going to do first then is add content to this, to this map in a couple of different ways uh, using some resources that we have already put together. The first of that is the KML file. To add content, you use the Add Content button on the ribbon, on the Home ribbon at the very top. Go to KML Files, click KML Files again. Uh, I have saved the New Orleans Eating Tool Tour file, the same one that you have used in the past uh, to get started with this process. Uh, and you can see what happens. Uh, it, it loads the, the uh, map file that we developed in Google Maps. It moves directly to it uh, and shows the location of each of the items uh, in the tour and the call-out boxes. So by clicking on a, a location in the table of contents, I can go directly to it, click on it, and open it up. And now I have the same information that I created in Google Maps. Now you will use this to load the Murray State map that you've already done and then to zoom to that and see how that looks like in the ArcGIS Explorer tool. Uh, I want to go on a little bit farther in the process and show you how to add a different kind of content. These are GIS services. Uh, these are described in the, in, in the assignment. Uh, an, an ArcGIS server, an ArcGIS mapping service, is a, uh, a, a mapping file uh, and capabilities that's made available for anybody to use in terms of a web server. In a way, it's a, it's, a, it's a web page that really has maps and mapping functionality built into it. So we're going to use that to load actually the same version of a web service twice. We're going to use a, a, a map service that's on a Murray State server, tsm.murraystate.edu, in the ArcGIS ETM for Emerging Technologies and Management folder, and the services subfolder. Now if we enter that, and you'll find this in the assignment, ArcGIS Explorer connects to that and will show us momentarily the map services that are available. We're going to use the first one, BBER07. So by double clicking that one, it adds that service. Uh, now this service actually contains a world layer uh, of photographic imagery, so the default extent of this map is the globe. So that's why we've back, moved back out to where we are. We will move back in in just a moment to see where that actually is. Uh, once we've entered that server, it already shows up as being present, uh, and we will load the BBER service one more time. So now we're ready to zoom to that service and see what it looks like. Uh, we manipulate the map so that you now see Western Kentucky and zoom in. And as you can see, as we do so, the map starts to take shape. So what loads when we do these services are two versions essentially of the same map. And if you want to see what we're looking at in this map, click on the legend and you see that we're getting population by county. The darker the color of blue, the more populous the county. And that, if we turn this one off, we see the layer underneath it that is exactly the same thing. So what we're going to try and do is change that up a little bit by adjusting the, the properties of those layers to show different types of data. Let's start with the one at the bottom first, the one that, 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 that shows now population by county. Uh, and let's use the properties, that's right click properties, to change what's being displayed in that layer. Move to sublayers, and this will bring up all the information that's available. We do want to show population with this map. But let's do it not by county, but by block group, so we get a little bit more finely grained understanding of the distribution of population in the West Kentucky area. ArcGIS Explorer goes back to the server, 
pulls down the information that we've asked for and is now in the process of redesigning that map so it's going to show population at the block group level rather than at the county level for these 18 counties. If we're interested in a restaurant operation, population is one of the things that we would like to keep track of, but we would also like to have some sense of the distribution of income. So let's click the layer on top to make it visible as well, and notice that it replaces the uh, block group information with county information. But let's change what's displayed in this map. We'll use sublayers again, and, and we would like to use a measure of income. As you look through this, you see that we have several different levels of, of demographics that we could do. We could talk about home ownership or median age, educational attainment. We, in fact, have two measures of income and one of wealth. We can do per capita or average household income. In this case, we believe that the expenditures on uh, dining out in western Kentucky are more impacted by average household income than by per capita income or income per person. So let's select that as the layer we're going to map. We'll select the block group option and click Apply. Once again, ArcGIS Explorer looks for that data, pulls it black at, at the block group level, and will now display it on the map. So now our map slowly develops into a thematic map of income at the block group level across these counties. Uh, the, we want to see the legend. This is the block group income levels. So we see that the ones in the darker green are the ones with the higher levels of income. Now, if we want to look at a little bit about the relationship of those maps to each other, uh, let's click the Tools tab in the ribbon and move over here to the swipe tool. And what the swipe tool does is as you move across the screen, it will replace the contents of one map with another. So now as we go up and down, population by block group is replaced by income by block group. So if we want to focus on a particular area, we can see what the relationship is. Notice that here in Lyon County, the highest income level is the lowest population portion of that county. Okay, now we're going to leave this uh, as income because that's the one we were most interested in as we place our restaurant, uh, or look at the, the, the competition for our restaurant in West Kentucky. Uh, 